Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jade if you haven't been here before. Today we are going to do a Primark haul. So I thought I would take a quick time out from sorting through my own clothes, but don't worry, those videos are still to come if you're enjoying closet clear outs. But I obviously wanted to get this up pretty much when I had been to the shop in case there's anything you like and you want to go and find. Like I hate posting um, hauls late, so I always try to do them as quick as possible. So let's get on into it. I will just start by saying I was a little bit disappointed with Primark because I wanted to find the bow dress and I actually went to two different stores but I did not find it. However, I got some really cute bits. I didn't get as much clothing as usual. I think I did a little bit more in the accessories but I've got a couple of outfits to show you and a few other bits so Let's get on into the video. So let's start off with this cute little white ribbed cropped tee that I got. What I really liked about it was the little frill detail on the sleeves and also the bottom. I'm not sure if this is going to suit me. I actually saw this as I was on the way to the checkout so I never got to try it. But I just thought it was really cute so I just grabbed it. I picked this up in a size small and it was £5. And then I will show you that as a try-on in just a second, but I'm going to show you a few bits so that I can put them together in one try-on clip. So the next thing I found I absolutely adore. My friend actually sent me a picture of this in her local Primark um, to say about it because she knew that I would find it cute. Um, and I just knew I had to go and try it. It's very pink. I'm going to start by saying that. It's a little brighter pink than maybe a lot of the stuff I have in my wardrobe, but it is super cute. And it is these shorts. Um, they're not done off at the moment, so they don't look as flattering. I did have to size up to a 14, so please know if you like these boucle sort of tweed pink shorts that I do think they run small. So yeah, I got it in a 14. I'm usually a 12. Um, but they, you know, they're not super bad, it's just one size, um, but they are this beautiful sort of baby pink and darker pink boucle, and I just think they are so, so cute. They are quite thin for boucle, I mean, which probably isn't surprising, being that it is Primark, and generally, like, tweed is a more expensive material, um, but that, in a way, is a good thing, I think, because it means these shorts will be perfect for sort of, like, the early part of summer, so I had to grab them. So I bought the shorts on my first trip to Primark and then I could not find the jacket. I knew there was a matching jacket and I really, really wanted it. Um, I don't know if I'm definitely gonna always wear them as a set, but obviously I will show you because I did find it. I went to another Primark the next day and I managed to find it. It was literally the last one. Like, I could not find them in the store at all. I'd given up hope. And then behind another blazer, I found one. And it just happened to be size 14, which matches my shorts. And I assumed that I'd probably need to size up in the jacket as well. So I feel like it was fate that fate was calling to me and was like, yes, here's the jacket you were looking for. Because honestly, this was so hard to track down. So if you like it, hopefully your store has it. They seem to stock the shorts more. Um, the jacket it's a little pricier, it's £28, but considering anything that looks remotely like this in Zara is often about £79.99, I think a lot of them run. Um, I do have a Zara jacket which is a little similar to this. This isn't as good quality as Zara, I will state that now, but it still feels super good for the price, like £28 for a big lay jacket. So without further ado, let's go and try those pieces on together. Okay, so I thought I'd leave the jacket to the side and just show you the top and the shorts first. I adore these shorts. They fit really well in the 14, but obviously, as I said, I am usually a size 12, so just be aware of that. I do find tweed items can be a little tight, tighter anyway, and Primark sizing is always all over the place if you know their shop well, so... Yeah, just bear that in mind if you like them. And they do have some other tweed colors in right now. There's this like beautiful sort of like orangey green one, um, which isn't really me, but it's really stunning. Um, it has pockets in the shorts, which is super useful. I think they're a really good length for shorts. Like they are not too short, but they're not like awkwardly long. Um, they are high-waisted, which is what I love. 
Um, and here is the t-shirt. I don't really like them together because I don't like where they join. Um, although I'd probably just tuck it in. But I think it is super cute. Is a little see-through. I don't know how much that's showing in the camera, but my white bra is showing very brightly through the white t-shirt. But if you don't mind that, like, I think this is a super cute basic buy. Okay, and now I've added the jacket. It has a sort of like three quarter length sleeves, so they're not too long, which is quite nice, especially as it's like with the shorts. So if you wore it together, presumably it would have to be a warmish day to be wearing the shorts. Um, so this is probably really good to sort of throw over as the evening gets colder if you've been out in the day. Um, but I do think it is really cute. And yeah, I just really like it. I think it fits super well in the 14. I'll show you done up in a minute. I just tucked the um, white one in just because I think the frill doesn't look right. But I think it is really cute for like a nice spring piece. So let's do it up and see what that looks like. Okay, and this is it done up. I think it's a really cute cord. I maybe find it a little bit too much pink together. I don't know, at least like when it's done up. I feel like when it has the white breaking it up, it feels a little bit more comfortable for me. It is actually a decent size in the 14, so the 12 may have been better, but as I said, this was the last one, so I grabbed it. Um, but yeah, maybe this isn't as oversized, um, I mean, maybe this isn't as tight as the shorts. Maybe I didn't need two sizes up in this, but I still think it makes for a really cute combo, and Primark are really trying to sort of match the style of other places this year, which I am really impressed by. Okay, the next thing I picked up was this long chocolate brown sort of color cardigan. Um, it's sort of got this like ribbed effect. I don't adore this, but I really needed like another plain color cardigan for work because I figured that the only plain long one I really have is gray. I also have a light blue, but that is about it. And I really do like my long cardigans for work just to throw over my workout outfits so I grabbed this which was reduced from £10 to £5 which I thought was really good so again I will try the cardigan on for you in just a second but I have to show you this item I'm gonna try it on with it um, and it is these shoes now, if you have seen my past Primark hauls, you'll know I have a little bit of an obsession with Primark's loafers, particularly this exact design. It's just that I have them in beige, pink, and brown so far, and I went in and they had them in black. I will say overall, black is probably my least favorite color of them. They look a little bit grannyish, dare I say. I don't know, loafers can, loafers? not a loofer, loafers. Loafers can have that kind of grannyish effect, I think, that grannyish feel, but, um, you know, especially in the black. But I thought they would be make really, really good work shoes. Honestly, Primark loafers, like this design specifically, are so comfortable and I just can't recommend them enough. So I was really excited to find them in black for work. They are nine pounds, which is a little pricier for flat shoes and Primark, but honestly, I think they are worth it. And now I'm gonna show you an accessory that I'm gonna try on with the other pieces. It's not gonna go with them at all, but I feel like it deserves to be in a try-on clip. And that is this cute little handbag. It's in a satin baby pink with this faux pearl handle and um, it has this silver hardware. I will be honest, I think I would prefer it if it was like rose gold or something. It would just tie in really nicely, but it's super cute. Um, it was nine pounds, which is a little bit pricey because you can tell it's cheap, like it feels cheap, but I just think it looks really cute and I just couldn't leave it behind. It's not the most practical bag. It's very, very tiny. Let me show you inside. It also comes with a long strap that you can attach, which I think is really useful. And then this is the inside. I hope you can see that okay. It is very small. Like, I feel like you'll just get like a, you know, maybe like a tiny purse or card holder and your phone in there. But I think that's great just for like a little evening out. As I said, not the most practical. I probably won't use it a lot, but I just couldn't leave this cute thing behind. Okay, so this is these pieces on. I'm sorry, it's a little bit of a strange angle, but I wanted you to be able to see the shoes. Honestly, they are the most comfortable shoes. So these loafers from Primark, look out for them. If you don't like black, there are others. I think the beige are my favorite, the beige cream color. 
Um, but look at the little bag, it's so cute. Obviously, these are, you know, this whole attire is a little random together. Although I think the shoes look quite cool with my dress. And I mean, the cardigan doesn't look awful just being brown, but I wouldn't wear like a long cardigan with this dress. Um, but the cardigan is also super cozy and stretchy and fits really well. I got it in a small. Um, it doesn't do up and I wouldn't do it up. It's just an open one. But yeah, I just think the bag is so cute and tiny. So yeah, loving this stuff. Just maybe not together. Okay, and finally, I have a few more accessories that I got to show you. This one is first this beautiful little white hair bow. Um, I say little, it's actually quite a large bow. Um, so I got a black one from New Look in my last New Look haul. I don't know if you saw that, but if you did, I really wanted the white one. So they brought a white one out literally a few days after I made my order, so I never managed to get it. And then I didn't really want to put in another order and pay postage on just a like five pound hair bow because the postage was like five pounds. Um, and I have been to four separate new looks looking for it and I cannot find it in store, which is really disappointing. But then I found this white one in Primark. It is a lot more bougie than the new look one. It's a lot bigger. Um, but I just thought it was really cute and for £2.50 I just couldn't leave it. So I had to get it. I also grabbed some plain white socks. I just feel like plain socks are the ultimate to have in your wardrobe. I love cute ones too. But I feel like if you want to make an outfit look more complete, black and white socks are really important and I really needed some. And for only £2.50, you can't go wrong with Primark. So speaking of small purses that could possibly fit in that bag, I actually picked up this really cute little um, quilted style purse. It was only £3 and it is just a very good size. I have a couple of bigger, like nicer ones like Coach and Michael Kors, but they are a lot bigger. And I do find sometimes when you're taking out your handbag, it just fills up so much space. So I just thought this was a really cute little alternative to take out. Um, it's on the inside. It just has a few card holders and space, I guess, for a few little coins. It does have like a little zip pouch in the middle, but it is super tiny. And if you didn't fill it much, it wouldn't take up much room at all or really weigh anything. And it has gold hardware with this beige color, which I thought was absolutely stunning. And then the final item I got, which I'm not gonna try on it just because I'm so good at breaking them that I just don't wanna try it until I need to wear it, but it is these tights. So Primark obviously are very known for doing cheap tights. Um, usually they're quite plain, but they had these sort of black ones with little black hearts on. I don't know how well that is coming up in the camera, but I just thought they were super cute. I don't know if they're for Valentine's. I don't feel like they are because they weren't kept in like a Valentine's section. They were literally just with the tights and they were the only patterned ones they had in there. But I just thought they were super cute. And I do love wearing tights because I get such cold legs and I haven't really tried patterned ones before. So I kind of wanted to give them a go. So I thought I would grab them. Um, I got them in a large. I don't know if that is honestly the right size or not because it was like size 12 falls into medium and large. So I just went for large, so hoping they don't break, but they were three pounds 50, which I thought was really good. Okay, and that is everything I got this time in Primark. I hope you have enjoyed looking at it. Maybe you've seen something you like. Please share with me your hauls. I love seeing what people get, especially Primark hauls are great fun because everything is different in every store, I swear. Like there's those few items everyone has, but then, it can be so hard to track things down. So I just love seeing what's different around and because you can't buy it online, obviously you miss out on a lot if you don't watch other people's hauls, I feel. So please send me them if you've done any and I will see you again real soon. Bye.